Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, hopefully, we'll get to stage 50 and see if we can beat that one. Uh, it might take quite some time, um, but it looks like for stages 40 through, 41 through to 50, Ethereals are the key in this one and Ethereals are the key in this one as well. So potentially swapping out Serafina um, and Astrid for um, uh, Katrina and Karnak might be the way forward, uh, but we'll just have to see. I think we can leave this lineup as is for now, but we'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to see. And um, let's jump straight into some battles and see how we do. Okay, so we're able to beat this one, round four, not bad. Seems easy enough. Uh, and then again, uh, this is the Phantom Synergy with Monarchs in it. Uh, so, um, should be relatively easy, as I fail uh, miserably. Uh, we'll just see. It may be worth taking Seraphina out. Your souls to so, easily deceased. beaten by the first team. Uh, and then second team. No, again. Um, so, it looks like we need to do more damage on this one. Uh, so, let's just have a quick check. No, it seems people are using Seraphina. Astrid with half red runes, though. Um... Hmm. We'll see. They look relatively the same, except there's a little bit more damage done on this one. Or should be. That one was a fail. We beat it so easily last time as well. Strange. Yeah, and again, same thing. Okay, so it looks like we were winning last time. Let's take chest out and let's go ahead and put healing base in. Uh, let's see about this second team. See if we can get through the first team. <laughs> yeah, much easier this time. So healing base is the key in this one uh, to stop the enemy healing. Uh, and then changing out the relics, uh, or sorry, the artifacts a little bit. Seems to have pushed us through uh, to stage 42. These two, um, the phantom synergies, uh, can be very, very tough. Can be really tough. Uh, but... Uh, we shall persevere through uh, as much as we can. Sometimes it is just a matter of uh, trial and error. So yeah, as you can see, we won in round five last time on the first one, and then we just died straight up on the second one. So we'll see. Yeah, it's all about those dodges, I think. There we go, so round six. So either, we, either we die before round six, or we win on round six. And this one, they're still alive. Hmm. Next team, let's try taking out Serafina and let's try putting Karnak in on this one and see how that goes. Hmm, very strange. It is, it, most of the time it is just complete RNG. So we did get through on, team, uh, on round five this time, absolutely fine. And then Karnak has not helped in any way, shape, or form. Thanks, buddy. Love you for that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what other people are using. So Leandra on that first team as well. Um, right, okay. Let's try it. Seems to have worked for other people. Let's try this second team, see if that gets us through. First team, fine. Healing base again, apparently. And then this time, yeah. Uh, so it is with Catherine on that back row. Uh, boosting up Eudora's damage, it looks like. Now, this is uh, Monarch and Verdian. So there's four Verdian synergies on this one. Yeah, uh, plus the, the Monarchs uh, might be a little bit more difficult. But we'll see how many 
see if we're able to do any sort of damage to them whatsoever. It might still be the uh, the Talonass and the stun uh, that's the problem. Hmm. So Orphelia on that first team. Try this one. With Sandra included. Apparently the Monarch Synergy, having four Monarchs on the team, much better for us. Uh, and then able to pass through second round, no problem as well. Looking good. Okay, so it seems as though Sandra is a very good fit uh, in this particular uh, set of matches. Uh, the reason that Sandra is very good, she works very well in the Monarch build that we've got. So Mavis, also a Monarch. Um, and they do get the extra slot as well. So when she summons that Seahorse and it dies, that will give a bonus to Sal's attack. I think that is how it works. Uh, so let's jump in. This is Lachesis, so this is the Revitalize. So Gwyn here, very powerful. All right, and let's see what clear records people have got. Okay. So it looks like just getting enough damage through. My sword is ready. Yeah, because this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. Um, the chess is here. Doing the uh, doing the full heal at the end of every round can potentially be very bad for us. And there's no counter to it uh, that we do currently have um, on any of our teams. We'll just see if we can get through. There we go. So team uh, round eight we got through, and then we'll see about this next team. Seems that we're missing something on this last team. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's check our clear records, and which one is the one that we used? It was this one. And we're missing this one. Uh, increases the attack of Ethereals. Let's go ahead and pop in. Put you in see how that works if it don't work we can just go ahead and change it but it's just getting through this first stage i think seems easy disease. enough <laughs> 10 rounds in he says no not able to get through still all right okay now with me okay it's going to our clear records again Let's have a look at how Steve does it. Now he does have Astrid at uh, full reds, uh, so maybe potentially a problem for us. Yeah, we're just not doing enough damage to him. Uh, it's because my Astrid doesn't have uh, full reds or even partial reds. She only has um, she only has epic runes. Uh, let's try you instead. No, not budging. Right, okay. So we know that first team here worked very well. So we'll quick deploy. Uh, we'll go to here. And we will go straight down. We'll save over this preset. And then what we can do is uh, go ahead and choose a separate team, uh, team two. That one looks good. So we'll try this, go into our presets, scroll all the way down, and we will quick deploy. And it's just a matter of uh, patience on these. So yeah, that team, much better. Um, and then this one potentially, yeah, there we go, wow, flipping heck, we'll take those, uh, right, okay, let's see how this one does, uh, 
this is 46. Yeah, able to get through this one absolutely fine. And then second one. So it looks like these are much better, these teams, uh, especially with the, the Monarchs at the front. We're able to do much more damage. And with Dahlia on this back row with Eudora, uh, switching places with Atrops seems to work very, very well for us. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. So Sandra and Celine put, uh, doing the business here. This one's going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah, that one's going to be tough. We just need Celine to survive for long enough, I think. Yeah, unfortunate. So this is not a team build to get through Hell 49 to get to the COVID stage 50. Or apparently it is. Apparently I'm just very unlucky. And it is just a wholly a matter of RNG. Got through it again, round eight. And there we go, round 14 though. Whew, that was dicey. Right, okay, let's jump into this one. So this one, we do want to sell, uh, again, with the uh, basic attacks. Uh, if, you've seen the, if you've seen the short I have previously done uh, on Sal, he is, uh, yeah, he can, he, he can solo this boss. Um, now, this one is slightly different, so attacks all enemies, dealing 30% damage, and loses 1 HP when performing a basic attack. It's very similar to the, the previous boss as well, but it looks like Elysians here will get the damage reduction. Um, so potentially building another Elysians team. This is this is a Dragons team, hands down. Um, right, okay, so... What teams of people used to beat this guy? Same teams as us, except Janna on the back row. With Ayushtha... Ah, okay, so that's an Elysians team as well. Go ahead and try this one and we've still got that presets uh, team saved for when we jump back into the next one um, and then what i'll do i'm going to skip through uh, if i can we'll just see how how we fare for the first couple of rounds and then i'll skip through uh, and if worse comes to worse we could always uh, skip back round as well we could always re-watch it if it's super short if it's like 30 rounds then we're in big trouble um but we'll just have to see and it is this if you if you do remember it is about uh, killing these minions as quickly as we possibly can so we want as much dodge available to us as possible um, but fortunately i do have a lot of dodge on um, my monarch units specifically because um, i prefer having shields for them than doing uh, a lot of attack um, Just takes so long this boss let's see no we weren't able to get it down quick enough let's uh jump in again just see how things go oh so close that time Yeah, we are getting very close, but we're not passing that final hurdle. Looks like we're getting to the uh, that round 30. What a pain.
I know he gets immunity to crit damage, but we might as well try it. And just see. And as soon as we can beat him consistently, then we can start looking at this second team. Alright, okay, so. Tell you what, bear with me. So I've just come back and had a look at the last video um, on Hell 25. Uh, and it looked like we had something very similar to this setup, except we didn't have... We only had 26 out of 27. So we'll try this. Let's see how it goes, see if we can. See if it's just RNG at this point. Yeah, we were much closer with Lachesis on the team. And it's the additional healing, I think, that Sal receives. So we'll just see if we can go ahead and beat it. We were so close that time. Yeah, and again, it's so close. It is a matter of RNG. What I'm going to do, just going to pause again. Um, so you're not sitting here looking at all these uh, these failed attempts. Um, and I will jump back in as soon as I have. And I'll show you the teams I've done. Okay, and we're back. There we go. Hell 50 cleared. Let me just uh, share this to Guild. Uh, we'll jump into the team and I will just show you what team setup I use. So um, I did eventually find the team uh, of the four monarchs still, um, but this time round um, we use the uh, we use the chest uh, and the uh, Excalibur. The chest can be replaced with healing vase if you don't have a copy of it, uh, and the artifacts here, the additional attack increase. Um, the launch additional strike, uh, extra dodge, splash chance, and uh, mystic fountain, as well as the increased crit rate, uh, saw us through. And then this is the team setup that I went with second. Um, now, I believe uh, oh, the reasoning behind this particular team, there was a lot of teams with Orphelia um, here, uh, like this, and then Dahlia uh, wasn't on the team, uh, probably because people don't have a lot of a. Instead of Dahlia, people had uh, Catherine uh, in this front slot. Uh, but something to note is uh, even if Ophelia dies, you still get the attack boost from HP increases, uh, which is why she's a very valuable unit to have. Uh, now it looks like Doom's team and uh, Doom's team here are uh, the way forward. Uh, I think we can go ahead and jump straight into this here uh, now if you do want to see uh, the boss battle oof, painful uh, if you do want to see that boss battle uh, we can go ahead and have a look um, in a in a separate video uh, right so it doesn't seem as though we're able to get through this one uh, let's rearrange two Ophelias love it yep does some wacky things when you import teams we were closer that time so let's try it again It's the uh, it's the the damage reduction that's the problem with this team. Uh, the fact that there's two monarchs and the damage reduction, uh, real pain. Looks like that team isn't working very well for us. Let's try this one. It is just a matter of trial, trial and error. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, so it seems damage. Oh, sorry. Um, the there has been quite a spike for this. So let's go ahead. Try this again, but let's go ahead and add in. Oh, what, what's this doing here? I don't think so. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and add in. Where have you gone? Are you on the other team? No. There we go. Uh, and we got one more. So let's go ahead and add our attack increase in. My Sal on the back row. Probably because there was uh, an additional slot in there. Might have worked out. Uh, there we go. Mm, yep, it looks fine. Uh, we'll take Spear out and we'll put Healing Vase in. And then this we can, in fact, take you out, put your crits in. Um, and then we will go with Spear and... go with death scythe as well this should be all right stick you in the middle and then we'll give the extra uh, damage boost here 
Let's see just what we can do. No, Astrid down. Right, let's try taking Astrid out. And... <laughs> we can try it. Miracles have happened. We got closer that time. No, still consistently. Only getting down to half. Go ahead and see how the chess functions there. Perfect. So we were able to get through with thanks to the additional healing. And then on this one, able to get through as well. Cool. Right. See if we can get to a nice round number, shall we? Hmm. That's the additional healing on that side as well. Mercy is worth nothing. Yep. Earth's might is yeah, six rounds for that. So not bad. I am the eternal defender of justice. The fading glow of the night breaks for all evil. Sal, solo in again. Just crazy what that guy can do. Uh, no luck, unfortunately. Try this one more. We'll do Hell 55 and then we'll call it uh, Call it a video. Yeah, there we go. Round 14. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, this is... Um, yeah, applies 10 stacks of increased defense. And the counters for him... Um, himself, Solomon, and Corolla. We don't particularly want any of those on there, so we'll just hope that Lachesis can do the job. Um, I'll sh I'll just show Lachesis um, and why she's such a valuable unit. So as you can see, um, we do have Holy Shields on here. We do get a healing vase. Get our attack and HPs up. Get Holy Shield removal. All the splash damage. Removing it for us. Now Minotaur will add the defense stacks, I believe, at the end of this round. He's the slowest on the team. On the enemy team. Unfortunately, getting those misses, that's big. Getting those misses is absolutely massive. Yeah, so we do get the uh, the defense stacks at sort of the end of the round. We just need Lachesis to survive for as long as possible. And then, yeah, so she removes all of the, the effects. Uh, so, uh, again, a very powerful uh, ability. Uh, that um, It's underestimated quite a bit, I see online. Not many people run Lachesis. But it can be very powerful. Like the reason a lot of the teams that we see um, are so powerful is because. Why? Well, sorry, I've just realised Mavis is on the back row. Um, <laughs> I think potentially Mavis needs to be on the front row, uh, and Lachess needs to be on the back row. But we'll just see. Yeah, no, looks like uh, Lachess being on the back row made quite a big difference. So dollar hand down as well, which will increase Sal's attack. And I found out quite recently as well um, that the reason that Sal um, can increase his attack infinitely is because it's only um, when he actually heals. So if he's not lost any health, um, then he will... Uh, he will not stack his attack. He'll not gain that 20% attack. So his runes won't kick in. Um, so effectively, because he's got this holy shield now, it's a bit of a detriment to us. Um, in the fact that uh, we do... We, we kind of just want um, Sal to take as much damage as possible but not die. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, which is why he's able to take... Uh, why we're able to build him up so quickly if he doesn't have... Uh, or if he gets hit or if he you know stacks his holy shield... Um, is potentially, oh, there we go, Lachesis is finally down. 
They might start attacking Sal now. Who knows? No. Just everybody around him, of course. But this is how he this is how he solos. For every dead body on the field, uh, including enemies. Uh, right. and there we go. That's why we have her around. Because she's very good at that. That's better. He's starting to build up now. But we just need to uh, Sal to start taking damage because he only um, the healing only counts when he has taken damage himself. It's so, like the misses. So we we gained some life back there. That will contribute. But the life we gain when we're at full health will not contribute. It won't go twenty percent worth of attack. So just something to keep in mind there. There we go, starting to do some damage. Fortunately, Mavis on this back row getting a lot of dodges in as well. Uh, and hopefully the splash damage will kick in. It is only a 50% chance, but we do have, uh, we are starting to build up. So there you go, 40, 40 million on the basic is not bad. They are healing up though, which might be a bit of a problem. Uh, but if he keeps doing damage like this, don't think it should be too much of a problem. Uh, no splash on that. Oh, if we had just had some splash damage. Yeah, and he's got so much health now. Hmm. <laughs> Is that 500? Just mental. Sixty K on a basic. Just silly. Just silly, what the f <laughs> This is why I don't watch him. I can't watch him anymore. I just I just start going mental. Like this now. Just silly. Silly damage. And every time Mavis dies, Sal will get uh, an attack and defense up as well. Uh, sorry. Uh, his um, ultimate and his uh, secondary will start to do much more damage as well. So there we go. Finished it off. Uh, and then we'll go through. If, if it's going to take any more than two minutes, then we'll, uh, we'll skip. Um, but... I, I do like this team. I mean, it's just a shame. Um, it's just a shame that we don't have other um, Dahlia's on the Elysians team. I mean, she works very well with the Elysians team, uh, increasing all those buffs, and I get where they were going um, with it. Uh, can just be very effective on this Dragons team, though. So, is what it is. Okay, so Ophelia down, but we'll we'll show off what we've seen before, uh, what I've mentioned before, in that every time our HP goes up, so does our attack. So just something to keep in mind, which is why we're able to output so much damage. So we do have to watch out for the healing factor as well. Um, so every time the enemy gets a hit. Um, they will oh. can't believe she only got one or are we only in this first round no we're in round two can't believe you Dora only got one there no she should have got two maybe I missed it I think I might just be going crazy What's going on there then? I want to see. I want to see. Hold on.
no ultimates from Eudora. Am I missing something? I must be. I must be missing something. You won't even get to see it, but... Yeah, I didn't even get to see it. That was weird. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe just skipped the animation. Who knows? Uh, right, but we'll call it that. So that's Hell 55 done. All sorted. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you can like and subscribe, it would be really appreciated. You have a great day.